Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. In our previous sessions, we've been talking about capacity and analysis. In other words, we've been thinking about what it takes to determine how many units a process can produce. It generally comes down to how much time you have available for a resource pool and how much time is needed. In this session, we're going to work through a problem. It may be a little bit longer than some of the other videos, but please bear with me. I will uh, make things very, very clear as to how you approach a problem like this. Here we have the LRDR Laundry Company. This company provides a commercial laundry service to businesses whose employees wear uniforms. Approximately 10% of all loads are considered heavy loads. The rest are considered normal. A normal load takes 30 minutes in the washer and 80 minutes in the dryer. A heavy load takes 45 minutes in the washer and 140 minutes in the dryer. They have two washers and four dryers. The washers and the dryers can run 22 hours a day, seven days a week. The question is, can they meet their weekly demand of 500 loads? What we're going to do is we're going to parse out this particular problem and identify all the key pieces of information to determine whether or not we can meet the demand of 500 loads. Here's a grid that identifies the two resource pools that we have. We have the washer pool and the dryer pool. As you can see, we're going to be working with the amount of time that's needed to complete a load of laundry for both the washer and the dryer. We're also going to look at how much time is available for each of the resources. So now let's go back to the original problem and find the information that we need to fill in this grid. In the problem, they state that they have two washers and four dryers. The washers and dryers can run 22 hours a day, seven days a week. So this is going to give us the information on the available time for the different resource pools. The washer has two resource units in it, because there are two washers. Each one runs 22 hours a day. Now, an hour is 60 minutes, so each one is running 1,320 minutes. Since there are two of them, the total time available per day is 2,640 minutes. The dryer is also running 22 hours a day, so each dryer runs 1,320 minutes, but there are four units in this resource pool, so there's a total of 5,280 minutes available for dryer time. Now we'll go back and look at the problem to find out how much time is needed. We're told that 10% of the loads are considered heavy and the rest are considered normal. A normal load takes 30 minutes in the washer and 80 minutes in the dryer, whereas a heavy load takes 45 minutes in the washer and 140 minutes in the dryer. So let's go put that in the grid as well. There's the 45 minutes for the washer for the heavy load, 140 minutes for the dryer, 30 minutes for the normal load, and 80 minutes for the dryer for the normal load. But now we have to create the average unit load. This has to be a weighted average because only 10% of the loads are heavy and 90% are normal. So we'll take 10% times the heavy time plus 90% times the normal time and add them together. And that will give us our weighted average. So on average, a load of laundry through the washer takes 31 and a half minutes and in the dryer it takes 86 minutes. So this is the time we need per load and we have already calculated the amount of time that we have available. So the next step is to just calculate the number of loads per day. We have the loads per day equaling the available time for the washer which was 2,460 minutes divided by 31 and a half is 83.8 .8 loads per day. And the same thing with the dryer, the total time, 5,280 minutes, divided by the 86 minutes needed per load, giving us 61.4 loads per day. Now, the question was, can we meet 500 loads in a week? 
So if we know how many loads per day, we can multiply it by seven and determine the number of loads per week. The washer can meet the commitment. 586.7 loads can be done through the washer in a week. But the dryer can't. The dryer can only do 429.8. So the overall capacity of the laundry company is only 429.8 loads per week. The dryer is our bottleneck. It is what's driving our effective capacity for the process. So the answer to our question, can we meet the demand of 500 loads per week? The answer is no. Now in the next session, we'll talk about how we go about determining how many resources we need in order to meet our demand. I'll see you then.